Appliance Boot Camp. This is Mike Sneed coming to you again with another hidden treasure where you can actually find work. Uh, right here, I'm at an actual dog resort. This is where uh, people bring their dogs to stay overnight and over weekends when they're going on vacation. You know, um, and they have hundreds of dogs that they keep here. Well, what they have to do, they have to constantly keep washing the dog beddings and blankets and stuff all the time for dogs that have accidents. Um, I got a call. This is early Sunday morning. That actually dryer is out. It's not working at all. They need to have these dryers running so they can actually uh, start washing the dog blankets and stuff and drying them. So uh, I came out here and uh, I wanted to see what was going on. This is a commercial unit. That little beeping noise you hear right there, that's the actual detergent is out. Uh, a lot of people who work on commercial appliances, they also sell the detergent to go in them. And they, uh, they, they make a lot of money off the detergent sale. That's what they make their money, uh, most of the money off of soap. Because that's a recurring offense. Uh, recurring uh, expense, people will constantly keep buying the soap from you. You come out here and set it up and, and, and program it for how much you want to dispense and all that. But what normally happens, they run out of soap and what they do, they just go to the grocery store, buy something and you hold them over. Well anyway, what we have here, we have an actual dryer. It'd be just like the dryer you have inside of your house. Uh, it has the exact same components. Like I said, it's just going to be bigger. Uh, this right here is that. They're going to have most of it. This one right here is manual uh, timers. So there you go. Uh, this one right here actually runs off of the timer section, runs off of 24 volts. So um, their problem is the dryer is not turning on at all. So when I came here, um, I wanted to see exactly what was causing it not to turn on. I done my checks. I made sure you had 120 volts coming to it. I did. Then I went and grabbed the schematic. If you look at the schematic right here, um, you will see as the power comes in you can see this right here is just the motor circuit the motor the motor the actual motor that spins the drum this is going to run off of 120 but if we come right here they got 24 volt uh transformer so what that's going to do it's going to take the actual power from 120 and go to 24 volts so i needed to see if that transformer was working so what i've done if i look from the transformer inside this uh coming down it's going to hit a fuse this fuse right here um, I look at the color of the wire, it's going to be red and white, and then I need to find the other side. So if I come to the other side of the panel, you're going to see these little lights. I know on the other side of the lights, they're going to have a white wire, if you can see it. And so if I go to one side of the fuse, you see it says white, uh, the, uh, the, the right here, where the dryer is at. And if you see right there, it'll tell you there's a white wire. And that's, that right there is red and white. So if I find that fuse... And I go to one, I go to the side of the light that's on the panel or to the white wire, I still have 24 volts. So when I come here, I actually find, find the fuse. Here go the actual fuse for the dryer. That's the fuse. And I'm gonna actually just remove this panel. The panel's real easy to remove. You just uh, slide up on it a little bit. It comes out. So if I come right here, and I have the power off now, so uh, I'm, I'm safe. If I take my meter lead, put one right here on that red and white wire, and then if I come here and I find the little light bulbs, you see the light bulb, once they heat, once they cool down, those are the light bulbs, and I see I have a white wire right there. I put the other meter lead right here, I should get 24 volts. When I done that, I did get 24 volts, so I knew that the uh, power, uh, from the, that the transformer was working. So now I need to see why I won't start. So I go back to my actual schematic. And I see before it gets to the timer, I'm gonna have a temperature, I'm gonna have a door switch, and I'm gonna have a panel switch, a lint panel switch. And then from the timer, if I go to the timer to pin uh, to terminal C, I should have 24 volts from C and still to that uh, white wire on the actual light. When I put my meter leads there, I didn't get anything. I got zero volts. And I'll show you what, where I put my two meter leads. So if I come here where it says timer, this is the actual dryer timer right here. If I look right here on that timer, you should see, you see that little C right there? I put my other meter lead right there on that terminal that says C. I got zero volts. So that let me know that somewhere between these two switches is where my problem is at. So what I've done, I came here, 
you have a door switch. The door switch on this drawer is right there. I tested that door switch. That door switch right there was good. I've come down this panel switch. And what this panel is, on your household drawers, you have you open the door, you can clean the lint screen, lint screen, and you have the lint screen on top. Well, on commercial ones, this is your lint screen. This is where they clean out the lint at right there. That's your actual lint screen that they clean out. And they want to make sure that you have this panel on before you start it up. And what happened, they have an actual panel switch right here. This is the panel switch. They actually mounts right there. And I just took this out, and what you do, you just put your two meter leads on those two terminals, and you do a continuity test. And this is the bad part. This is the one that's not working. That's what's keeping this drawer from actually turning on. So what I'm going to do now, uh, this right here is a pretty common switch um, that you'll find. So I'm going to take this switch and actually replace it. Uh, I got one on the truck. I'm going to get them up and running. Their dryer will be fixed. Uh, and, and they'll be happy because now they can finish doing their loads. And uh, I'm going to be happy because this is going to be an emergency commercial call that I actually came out on uh, first thing Sunday morning. And I'm going to make a, a nice little penny for this. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in to Appliance Boot Camp. And I'm going to keep bringing you all information like this. Uh, like I said, this right here is something for more advanced technicians. Once you've been in the game for maybe a year or two and you want to step your game up and start going to the commercial side to kind of kind of separate you from uh, from everybody else, this is a nice way to make a lot of money. On residential side, you can make a hundred to 125,000 per year doing uh, appliances. On the commercial side, you can make 200 to 250 a year, one person just doing commercial, easy. So uh, once again, thank you all for tuning in and have a good day.